Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two replays in the Czech Tier 8 Tech Tree Heavy Tank, the TNH 105-1000. The brand new installment at Tier 8 in the brand new Czech Heavy line that has just recently been released. Now this tank has two different guns. It's got the single shot and it's got an auto loader. This first replay is the single shot gun, but you're going to see a replay in both tanks, well both guns I should say. For me personally, I think the auto load is better because I prefer the burst damage. I prefer the situations that I can get into with that gun. The single shot is decent, but it just doesn't suit me. Personally, I prefer the auto loader and it is the first gun that you come to that's a top gun to unlock. And I would definitely say probably go with that one, but it's all personal preference. This replay is with the single shot. This tank is a pretty solid tank because the mobility is great. And to be honest, it goes up comfortably at 40, but it has a 50 top speed, which is fantastic for a heavy tank it's got good gun handling on this single shot on the double shot it's kind of, it's, it's not much worse but it is worse and you do notice it a little bit but 320 alpha as well and the armor the turret armor on the front has some space protection which makes it pretty decent when you go hauled down the upper plate bounces the odd shots here and there the lower plate is garbage, but that is the lower plate. It can start scrape a little bit here and there. Just all around, the tank is pretty decent. I really enjoyed my grind through this tank. It was a lot of fun to play. And like I said, the double shot did have a lot to do with that. The double shot was really nice. But the single shot can be capable too. So what kind of crew do I run on the TNH 105-1000? Boy, that is a mouthful. Well, on this tank, I run... Born Leader, Rapid Reload, Sixth Sense, Situational Awareness, Trap Mechanic, Steady Aim, Snapshot, Run and Gun, and Off-Road Driving. Yep, I run those perks the same as I do on all of the Czech Heavy line and a lot of heavy tanks that I run generally. Because, well, you want Off-Road Driving to be able to help the mobility of the tank, make it so it can easily get up to that top speed. And that top speed is something that you'll be able to want to use. And then all the gun perks just to make the gun as good as possible. In terms of equipment, I run vents, optics, and vert stabs. Vert stabs to make the gun as, again, as good as possible. Because these you just want to make the guns of heavy tanks as good as possible. Optics and vents. Vents to make the DPM as good as you possibly can get. And it's especially vital for this single shot because you can't run a rammer. For the single shot, you just have to stick with vents, optics, and vert stabs. And optics, because I want to make my view range as good as possible. Because this tank has 370 meters view range, which isn't great, particularly when a lot of tanks are running, like 380 at least at tier 8. And maxing that up as much as possible to not get outspotted is something that I personally like to do. So in terms of this gun, it actually has really nice pen for the tier pretty standard actually these days to be honest 224 pen on the standard ap and 252 on the apcr which is really nice that means that you'll be able to pen pretty much everything you'll ever face which is exactly what you want on this single shot gun you actually have a 3.35 accuracy which is pretty decent it's usable Again, it's not inaccurate, and that is pretty nice for it. On the auto loader, it's like 0.4 accuracy, and it is a lot more derpy. You do feel it, but I just prefer the double shot. It is what it is. So in this game on Heilbronn, we've taken this middle position as aggressively as we possibly can. Um, we've managed to get 1,900 damage and 1,100 assistance. We were getting countered by the TNH on the opposition team and the Conway but fortunately enough, my team's pushed around and now I can get on top of this little ridge here and start getting shots out. So we start getting shots at this 45 TP and we're hauled down at this minute in time for him. So we're pretty safe from him, but we do take a hit from something in the distance. And I'm like, I don't want to die at this stage because we're on for a decent game. And yeah, we don't want it to end prematurely. It's something that's hitting for around 300 odd. I'm trying to see where it possibly was to try and just blind fire it doesn't come off is what it is you got to try it sometimes right and now we spot the heavy tanks coming out of the town so we've got this vk 4502a coming out of the town and it's like right i want to try and track this guy so we're trying to just put the shot in a little bit ahead of him and we're trying to track him in place so that we can get a little bit more damage him we are doing track damage only and pending him obviously i shouldn't say only we're, we're 
we're doing damage, but we're not managing to track him, which is really unfortunate. That's what I'm aiming for this entire time, because I want to stop him in place so I can just get the odd shots out here and there. But he's gone unspotted, and it's like, oh, it's a little bit awkward now. I'm going to try and see if I can get into a position to spot him through the bush. But unfortunately, he's not getting lit up, so it's like, right. I need to help my friends over here. They're getting cross shot here from the 45 TP and that T25 slash 2 in the distance. So we get a shot in. I did load APCR because I thought I was possibly going to have to start dealing with the Type 4 Heavy. But he hasn't shown up and I just haven't been bothered to change back. And we're just going to try and get rid of these guys. Like I say, we're in a better position than my team right now to be able to shut these guys down. So we want to focus them down because once they're gone, my teammates will start to be able to focus on what's in front of them. So there's the VK452A 2 from earlier on. It's like, right, this is perfect. He's down here. We're just going to slap some shots into his lower plate. We get one in, and now he's a one shot. The bar finishes him off. Bar is always going to finish that off. And there's the Type 4 Heavy I was on about. That's what I was expecting him to do earlier on. That's why we loaded the APCR, and we need the APCR to go through this guy. Because even on the side, 224 pen, if he angles slightly, he'll probably bounce because Type 4 Heavy. So we need all the all the help we can get with the penetration, and we've got his side. But again, we don't want to die, and that derp gun is going to smash us in the smash us in the face and just well kill us because that's what derp guns do. Unfortunately, we hit the side of his turret with the premium, and we ricochet because why not? Type four heavy stuff. But he turns his attention to our friends, and we get to finish him off with a shot to the side. And it's like, wait, where did that mil two go? He was somewhere around here. Is he hiding under there? No. Ah, there he is. He's actually coming up behind us if you look at where he's been spotted. And it's like, oh, there he is. Right, he's fired one. And this is where we make a little bit of a miscalculation because I feel like he's going to dump his whole lot into the bar. He fires again. It's like, right, okay, let's try and get a shot. And he ends up turning and going, hello, I like you. It's like, oh, don't do it. Oh, okay. He just had to kill us, but it is what it is. Like, he was struggling to pen the bar. He was always going to go for the kill. But we finished the game with a really nice total. And we finished with the victory. Top on our team. Two kills. 5k damage. 1100 assistance. Ace tanker. Confederate. High caliber. 1851 base XP. A really nice game for the TNH-105-1000 with the single shot gun. It shows what the single shot gun can do. It's a good gun. It is a good gun. But there's something about this, the double shot, the auto loader, that just I preferred a lot. Sure, it's derpier. But the ability to just keep tapping in shots left, right, and centre was just really nice for me to be able to do stuff to the enemy team generally. There's a lot of opportunities where I'd pull out with the single shot, shoot someone, track them, and then be like, well, if I had the double shot right now, I'd go, well, I'd hit them again. But instead, I've got to pull back and wait for my reload. And they probably have an equally as good reload or even better than me. So they end up just, you know, putting shots in. And with the double shot, it was just, it was better for the peekaboo because you could poke out, go bang, bang, and then with the good mobility this tank has, you could get away or you could pull back beyond ridge lines. Because that's the one strength of this whole line is that get to a ridge line, get hull down, and you're laughing because the turret armor on, on the whole is pretty solid. And then you can peekaboo over ridge lines, double shot people, you know, and pull back and you'll be fine. And this double shot definitely is a nice thing that I like about it. So this M40. 190 millimeter obviously we missed the final shell but that's the sort of situation i'm talking about and it was the same with the conway in the last game and that is when they pulled up on there we managed to get one shot in and then they put a shot in towards right and then managed to pull back without return and then having that double shot in situations like this is just nice i get one shot if i'm using the single shot there i get one shot in and they get away and that's it pretty much but in that scenario, I managed to get one shot into the one guy and one shot into the other. And that's just what's so nice about it. Obviously, in this second game, we're on Heilbronn again. That's just the way it works at times with this map rotation. I felt like I was kind of trapped in a bubble of the same maps when I was grinding through them. It was like, Heilbronn, Pearl River, Heilbronn, Pearl River. You know, just the way it is sometimes with the, the old map rotation at times. You get kind of stuck. And yeah, we're going to have a decent game again. And we're using the same ridge line because the same ridge line is pretty nice. And we've got some target discretion in front of us. We try and get two shots into the VZ44. Unfortunately, we don't get a shot into him. And there's our tier 8 premium brother, the Skoda T56. He slaps a big shot into us for nearly 500. And fortunately enough, the second one 
tracks us only. That thing is so deadly in that sort of situation where it can pull out, drop two shots. He's so much better at it than we are, because obviously we only have a 640 clip. He has like nearly a thousand clip. That thing's dead. That Skoda T56 is absolutely deadly. Obviously, it has to hit its shells because the, the gun is derpy. But, like, oh, it's so deadly. And it's definitely better at it than this thing. But there's still situations where this tank can be nice, as you see with this poor MX-18-46. Pull out, drop two shots into him, gone. The thing is, the thing I like about these double shots on these tanks as well is you're not out of the game for very long. You just look at the reloads and it's like, well, I've just double tapped someone. And I'm ready to go again. Just like that. 18.7 seconds. It's a really nice thing to have. And like I said, the power of having that 640 alpha clip is also something you just can't underestimate. So, we get caught out here by this TNH-1000, well, 105-1000. But we managed to get both our double shot into him. Now this Ram Panzer's come around and this STRV-74. They've made mistakes. It's like, right, okay, no, we're, we're, we're going to punish this. This STRV is in the open. I can kill this guy with two shots. So we get one in, and then we get the second in. Now I can stay safe from this round panzer in front of us, and I can get below this ridge line and stay safe and wait for my double shot to go in. Because by the time I've got these shells in, I should be able to put that guy down to a one shot, hopefully. He's actually coming round for us. We angled the armor towards him, but fortunately enough, he misses because his gun is dreadful. And now we're going to go for it. We want to be able to put both shots into this guy so that we can kill him with the next clip. Now he's a one shot. We fortunately enough bounced the VZ44-1 as well. We tried to turn just in time, but he just hit our upper plate and bounced. And now we're waiting for the reload again. The next plan is again to shut down this round panzer. We want to get rid of him because then we can deal with the VZ44-1 in front of us. Unfortunately, that one misses because of bad aim. We make sure with that one and shut down the Ram Panzer. Now we're reloading again. And this VZ is definitely our target. But with this clip going in, it's like, please reload, please reload. This Skoda T56 is in the open. We need. I just, I just want to get this guy. But unfortunately, he gets back behind the ridge line. We can't quite do it. So I'm just going to look to see if I can get a shot at this VZ. Can't quite do it. But he's pulling around this rock on this side. He's absolutely doomed here because my team putting shots in behind him. The first shot we tried to put in ends up doing gun damage. And then it's like, oh no, that's a mistake. The Skoda T56 tracks us and then hits us again. Pulls us down to a one shot for hit. Well, no, it's not a one shot for him. But it pulls us down to within his clip range again. And means that, yeah, we're not in the healthiest of shapes. But we know he's dropped his clip and it's like, I've just reloaded. You know what? I'm going to make a move. They were, they were all last spotted on the nine line. I'm going to make a move. And it's like, okay, there's an M4190. Okay. Oh, there's a Minuteman. Oh, no, there's an SU-130 PM. And at this point, I know I'm absolutely boned. And unfortunately, we get shut down by the Skoda T-56. But it is what it is. We made a mistake. I thought they were all on the nine line. But unfortunately, they were all around the corner waiting for us. But we finished the game. We come top on our team. Finished three kills. 4.4k damage. 2.6k assistance. Ace tanker. Confederate. 1938 base XP. A really nice game for the autoloader version of this tank. And for me, the autoloader is the way forward because it's a really strong gun. There's a lot of situations where it's a lot nicer to have that clip. And the, the ability to dump it out really quickly is great. This tank on the whole is pretty solid once you get past the grind. And yeah, the autoloader is the first one you come to and you'll have a good time. So as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. A great success!